Rejoice, you saints, in the presence of the Lamb. A kingdom has been prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to our celebration of Mass today. Happy Feast Day. It's the Feast of St. George, the Solemnity of St. George, the patron saint of, of England. And so we remember our country. We remember uh, all those who work in our country, our health workers, our care workers, all those who assist us in so many, many ways. We remember them during the course of today's Mass. All those who are afflicted, all those who are feeling isolated, all those who are, are, are sick and, and feel frightened, we remember you too in our prayers. St George we could describe as a man of steel, a man of steel in the sense that he was a soldier and so uh, used to weapons, swords, shield, all that sort of stuff. But he didn't depend on um, the, the weapons in order to protect him. He depended m most of all on faith in Jesus Christ and, and on virtue, trying to live the way of Jesus, trying to walk the way of Jesus. And as a result of that, he was persecuted and eventually suffered a martyr's death. So on his feast day, first of all, we thank God for his patronage. We ask that our faith might be made more strong and that we might follow the way of Christ uh, as best we can on this day. And for the times that we have not followed Christ, we ask for mercy and for pardon. Lord Jesus, you are the image of the unseen God. Lord, have mercy. You are the firstborn of all creation. Christ, have mercy. You are the head of the body, the church. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> God of hosts, who so kindled the fire of charity in the heart of St. George, your martyr, that he bore witness to the risen Lord, both by his life and by his death, grant us through his intercession, we pray, the same faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumph may be led to share with him in the fullness of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Our first reading is taken from uh, the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, heard a voice shout from heaven, Victory and power and empire forever have been won by our God, and all authority for his Christ, now that the persecutor who accused our brothers day and night before our God has been brought down. They have triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the witness of their martyrdom, because even in the face of death they would not cling to life, let the heavens rejoice and all who live there. The word of the Lord. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed we were glad. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. 
Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. <clears throat> Our second reading is taken from the letter of St Paul to the Romans. With God on our side, who can be against us? Since God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to benefit us all, we may be certain after such a gift that he will not refuse anything he can give. Could anyone accuse those that God has chosen? When God acquits, could anyone condemn? Could Christ Jesus? No, he not only died for us, he rose from the dead, and there at God's right hand he stands and pleads for us. Nothing, therefore, can come between us and the love of Christ, even if we are troubled or worried, or being persecuted, or lacking food or clothes, or being threatened or even attacked. As Scripture promised, for your sake we are being massacred daily and reckoned as sheep for the slaughter. These are the trials through which we triumph by the power of him who loved us. For I am certain of this, neither death nor life, no angel, no prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing can ever come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Word of the Lord. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy the man who stands firm, for he has proved himself and will win the crown of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes to make it bear even more. You are pruned already by means of the word I have spoken to you. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire, and they are burnt. If you remain in me and my word remains in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit and then you will be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. St Paul often talks about faith as a shield. It's our greatest defence, faith in Jesus Christ. And this was the shield that St. George the martyr, the soldier martyr, truly carried. It didn't protect him from um, the hurts of, of human beings, it didn't protect him uh, from people persecuting him, but it protected him from the snares of evil and it kept him on the straight and narrow, if you like. It made him what a true Christian should be, following the way of Jesus Christ. George was born in, in Lydda in Palestine in the 4th century and he was part of the Roman legion and he was converted to Christianity. And when he was converted to Christianity, he, he rejected the, the cruel and the inhuman way that very often uh, Roman soldiers treated other people and decided to follow the way of Christ. He became a soldier of Christ. And as a result of that, he was persecuted and eventually was martyred. But as you can imagine, 
He was also a very strong role model for soldiers throughout the ages, and from the earliest days, they took him as their patron saint. But it was during that period of um, the Crusade that he particularly became very popular among troops of all nations, because St. George isn't just our, our patron saint, he's patron of all sorts of other countries, he's patron of all sorts of areas of different countries. When I lived in Spain, I lived in a place called Castile and Leon, and St. George was the patron saint of Castile and, and, and Leon, and today was a bank holiday, just like today is a special day in England. Must have one of the longest uh, histories of being a holiday, because it was declared a holiday, believe it or not, by uh, Henry III in 1222, so it's got a long, long uh, historical um, uh, story behind it. So we remember our own country today, we remember um, the plight that we find ourselves in. We ask the intercession of St. George, who was ready to defend um, uh, the Christian faith and the Christian way of life. And we ask his intercession uh, and we place before him all our worries, all our difficulties, all those intercessions that are in our hearts, all those people that we want to pray for. We place them before the Lord and ask him to bless as only he can bless. And because it's a solemnity, um, we're going to say the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today we venerate St. George, our patron saint, who triumphed over the wiles of Satan by his good deeds which are known only to God and by the witness of his martyrdom through the precious blood of the Lamb. Relying on his patronage, we make our needs known to our Heavenly Father. We pray for the Church in our land, our bishops, clergy and lay people, that we may witness to our faith in Christ and like St. George, reach, reap a rich harvest of good works. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our Sovereign Queen, Elizabeth, and all the royal family, together with the government, that they may be guided in all of their decisions by the right principles of peace, justice, and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the young people of this country, the true hope of the future, that they may be true to God and to themselves and stand firm amidst the temptations of this life so that they may win for themselves the crown of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray that all people may live together in true peace and harmony, that they may understand their own responsibility towards the less fortunate and be found watching and ready at the Lord's second coming. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died in defence of their country and for all who have departed this life that they may all come together with ourselves into the glorious light of God's presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for ourselves and our world under the threat of this coronavirus pandemic that the Lord will give us strength and courage to bear all that we need and that we will remain faithful to his providential love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And we ask the prayers of our Blessed Lady, whose dowry England is. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, today we give you thanks for the protection of St. George, whom you have given to us as our patron. Through the merits of his martyrdom, we ask you to listen to our prayers. Grant that we may imitate your Son, who has taught us by word and example to love one another as he has loved us, and so come one day to that kingdom where he lives and reigns with you for ever and ever. Amen. goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever and the blessed through this water and this wine and we come to share in the divinity of Christ who has himself to share in our humanity blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from our sin. <coughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of consummation and praise which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr St. George, that it may lead us to forgiveness and confirm in us constant thanksgiving, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, St. George, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. <clears throat> may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. George, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. <coughs> Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us cry and keep the sacraments of the Lamb. Amen.
we make our spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus Christ, who for the love of for the love which you bear for us and remain night and day in the blessed sacrament, full of compassion and of love, awaiting, calling and welcoming all who come to visit you. I believe that you are present in the sacrament of the altar. I adore you from the abyss of my nothingness and I thank you for all the graces which you have bestowed upon us and in particular for having given me yourself in this sacrament for having given me your most holy mother Mary for my advocate, and for having called me to visit you in my mind present in my parish church. I now salute your most loving heart, and this for three ends, in thanksgiving for the great, this great gift, to make amends to you for all the outrages which you receive in this sacrament from all your enemies. I intend by asking you to come into my heart also to adore you in all the places on earth where you are least revered and loved and the most abandoned. My Jesus, I love you with my whole heart. I grieve for having hitherto so many times offended your infinite goodness. I purpose by your grace never more to offend you for the time to come. And now, miserable, unworthy though I be, I consecrate myself to you, to you without, without reserve. I give you and renounce my entire will, my affections, my desires, and all that I possess. From henceforth, dispose of me and all that I ha have as you please. All that I ask of you and desire is your holy, your holy love, final perseverance, and the perfect accomplishment of your will. I recommend to you the souls in purgatory, but especially those who have the greatest devotion to the most blessed sacrament and to the most blessed Virgin Mary. I also recommend to you all poor sinners and those who are suffering from illness and disease and are fearful. Finally, my dear Saviour, I unite all my affections with the affections of your most loving heart and I offer them thus united to our eternal Father and beseech him in your name, in love of you, to accept and grant them. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Rejoicing on this festival day, O Lord, we have received your heavenly gifts. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit with St. George to be partakers in his resurrection and glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.
Have as good a day as you can. Let's hope the sun shines on us a little bit. And we ask again St George's intercession to pray uh, for each one of us, especially those who are in isolation and those who feel lonely and frightened. God bless.